Here it is. It's time for another SGC reveal. This is March grading submission number one. So the first one we sent off, the deadline was March 4th, maybe? Get right into it. Adam Bogey, one card from Omni's Breaks. Shane Wright, oh jeez, this is Angles to hold on, let me get this set up right. I haven't swapped out. I'm going to switch this camera back out again for the old one. I don't like it. But I haven't had a chance to do that yet. Hmm. There's not a good angle. Anyway, it's a Shane Wright Arctic Freeze. Who cares? This camera sucks. Uh, maybe I'll move the zoom back. Hold on. What? How far? Okay, well, that's too far. There, that's close enough. Nice one. <laughs> uh, JP from Jules Break. A Jules Break. Dominguez Gold, 10. Man, this is killing me. It just doesn't fit. And another Jason. A gold foil got a 9.5. Both from Jules Breaks. <clears throat> also from a Jules Break. Junior Caminero. Silver Pack Rookie Green to 99. Got a 9.5. The 89 design. Good results. Serio 6. Mailed in some cards. Uh, that's not right. Well, I'll show it anyway. It's out of order. Kyle Seeger, 2010 Bowman Chrome Blue Autograph. Got an 8.5. It's just out of the thing. Supposed to start with Harry Ford. Harry. Oh, no, no, never mind. That's right. I did it right. Harry Ford, Bowman's best blue autograph. 10 auto and a 9.5 on the card. Cal Raleigh. There's a theme here. It seems to be Blue Mariners. Nine with a ten auto from Topps Chrome. Another Cal Raleigh nine five with a ten auto. Blue rookie autograph, Topps Chrome. More blue Mariners. George Kirby, this one got an eight. Ten auto. And the other George Kirby got a nine with a ten auto. I love a Bowman or a Topps blue autograph. Who doesn't? People who hate blue, I guess. More blue Mariners. Josh Hood, 9-5 of the 10 auto from 23 Bowman. True to the blue. Serio 6. And here's some good ones. Colt Emerson. Good grades, I mean. Those were okay, but not 10s like this one. Colt Emerson blue from best. 10 with a 10. And Michael Arroyo, your last blue Seattle autograph, 10-10. Mm, blue cheese. Alex, we have several Alexes, but they all know which one they are, so I don't really need to say their last names or anything. Alex sent in from his collection, and I don't know what you were expecting on this, if this is terrible or fine or good. A 1999 Pokemon Fossil Dragonite holographic first edition. It got a six. Hopefully that's what you were expecting or better than you were expecting. That's an old Pokemon card. Also mailed in a... He knew, yeah. A Lando first Chrome Sapphire. It doesn't have his first, but a rookie. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Nice 10 on that. George Russell, a purple. Got a 9. Ah, oh, man, those were the days. A 2020 Lando's car purple. Got a 9. Beautiful Lando portrait, 9-5 purple. It's an awesome card. Personal funsies, yeah. I know, that's kind of what I do with SGC. Personal funsies. Max Verstappen, Purple's car card, all 2020 Topps Chrome F1. Some say the greatest set ever made. <clears throat> From 
23. This might have been from our breaks. Yes, from one of my breaks. Your Leclerc portrait refractor got a 10. That's nice. Piastri refractor, rookie 10. Also very nice. Maybe I missed a step, Yostick. I think I set them as like received by SGC because I forgot. Maybe I have to do like sent and then it sends the email. That's probably my fault. Another, this is the base rookie, Piastri. Got a 9.5. And then a refractor freshest got a 10. So pretty good. Oh yeah, gold labels don't exist. I don't know. I need to, I'm going to email my guy and be like, dude, how have we sent, how many cards have we sent? 3,000 and never got a gold label? That's ridiculous. What's going on over there? There's no way that we just haven't sent a card that's a gold label. It's, there's no way that's true. They're just not giving them out anymore. I don't know why. Uh, still, some more for Alex. He mailed in uh, Wembenyama Prism. Rookie got a 10. Man, this camera is killing me. Sorry. When I do it here, you just see me in the reflection. You can't even see the card. It has to be like this or like this. That's it. Tear the whole set down. Redo everything. Sucks. Crap. I need a whole new camera just for SGC reveals. And then your Monopoly starter deck. It's like paper. Got Also got a 10. Yeah, let me try something here. Okay. This one. Wait, where are we? Special illust So we had two of these. I'm going to tell you, you people who had the, the du duplicates. We sent a separate submission with a duplicate Charizard and a duplicate Mew that were sent. They graded them separately. I have a separate everything. Separate invoice, separate pictures, separate things. I've verified that these are correct. But if you want to see anything, let me know. Well, that's better. So this is yours, Alex. Your 151, sir, got a 10. Gold labels. If we ever get duplicates, that's what we're doing now. Well, that's what we have to do now. All right, Badger had one card from one of our breaks, Donruss WWE, and it's a good one. Seth freaking Rollins to 49, Pen Pals Red, 10 with a 10 auto. There you go, Badger. Oh, the architect. The true architect of the whole story. All right. Really gray. Three cards from breaks. First, a Senna gold checker. I'm not sure why I got an 8.5. Sorry. I didn't notice anything wrong. Centering, maybe. Could be centering. Hmm. Not bad enough to be an 8.5, though, I don't think. Uh, this one's nice. Logan Sargent, turn up the lights. Orange, got a 10. Still, still a reflection. And who can forget this? UCCF remarked, this is the greatest card he's ever seen pulled live at CSB. A Dane St. Clair Super Fractor 1 of 1 from MLS Finest. And again, UCCF, you'll have to ask Really Gray if he's selling it. I'm not, not going to get in the middle of that. Everyone knows you want to buy it. He knows you want to buy it. I don't know what more could be said on it. Yeah, he said that. <clears throat> he's not even here for these jokes <laughs> all right Boba Fett me mailed in a bunch of stuff like this Emmett Smith from 1990 tops traded got an 8.5 don't know what you're expecting don't know if that's good or bad uh -uh. a Roman Yossi green prism from 1314 prism hockey that got a 10 Man, that brings back memories. 
a Jonathan Huberdo. Wait, is this from a break? No. Upper deck trolls, y'all, 13, 14. No way. Well, who knows? Anyway, 10 and a 10. No, you didn't miss yours for once. That card's awesome. I mean, I don't know how good Jonathan Huberdo is anymore, but. Card's amazing. Really nice Juan Soto Orange Prism from 18 Select, rookie. Got a 10. A Aaron Rodgers Glass Mosaic got a 10 from 22 Mosaic Football. I thought that was Eason Saul's card when I was like, oh, weird. A Arbor, I don't know how to say his name, sorry. But it got a 10. 22, 23 Future Watch autograph, 699. Defenseman for the Canadians. No autograph grade. A Marco Rossi Young Guns from 22, 23, 10. Slav Slavkowski, Slavkovsky, Slavkovsky, Young Gun, also a 10. Oh, Jack Guy. Who's Jack Guy? Oh, the Future Watch. Freaking Jack Guy. Uh, oh, Grogu. Mandalorian, Chapter 20, The Foundling, number to 49. Another 10. Polish? No, I don't polish the cards, Birch. Gunnar Henderson, Stadium Club, Beam Team, 9-5. Still Boba Fett me. And, <laughs> I love this card. Chewbacca, 40th Anniversary, Red Foil, 10 of 10, 9-5. That's the Bulky uh, Slab. It's named the Bulky Slab from Bulky uh, from Perfect Strangers. <laughs> He's the first one who uh, submitted a thick stock card to <laughs> to SGC. It's bulky tap uh, case. Uh, Tano with lightsabers. Got a 10. Throwback Thursday. Star Wars. Uh, you know, I say to myself, I'm not going to do stupid jokes that, that make me look terrible and embarrass me. And then I do them anyway. I can't. It's impossible. I can't stop myself. Uh, Caitlin Clark look at that an orange from Bowman U Chrome 7-8 design got a 9 Nolan was excited to see the Caitlin Clark cards he helped me put this submission together he didn't really care about any cards except for the Caitlin Clark stuff he was into that so that should tell you something and a Jude Bellingham refractor from Merlin 22-23 that got a 10 I think, let's see, is that, yes. Uh-oh, it's poopsie-daisy time. That That's the whole first row. Let me put these back, poopsie-daisy, and make you wait just a little bit longer. Poopsie Daisy's been trolling us this whole time. He's he plays this character of like a you know. Well, you know the character he plays. Turns out he has a better collection than any of us. He's actually the greatest collection in America. No, I guess these are you said these are your brother's cards. I don't know. Who cares? Let's just show him a seventy-one tops Nolan Ryan three point five. Actually, Nolan remarked on this one because his name's Nolan. He said, why is that a 3.5? And I said, well, look at the sides. He said, oh, yeah. I said, well, son, those are hard to grade. They show a lot of wear on the edges. Your 71 Stargill got a 5. Poopsie daisy. Seventy-three. Joe Morgan got a six. Yeah, it's a cool card. Here is a really cool eighty-four Fleer Dong Mattingly, seven point five. Seems good. 
don't know if I've ever seen that card. Now it gets totally different. A Wolverine from 1990 Impel Marvel got a nine. Spider-Man got an eight. One of the Spider-Man men. Carnage Hollow Foil Silver from 94 Marvel Masterpieces got an 8.5. So these are cool. Your Hulk got an 8 from the same set. Your Punisher got a 9. Look at him punishing. Spider, man. And. 10 on the Spider-Man number 8. That's a pretty perfect card for a Marvel fan. Lieutenant Worf. Hmm. <laughs> Worf. Prepare to be shocked now. Everyone, is everyone sitting down for Dead, Deadpool's next few cards? That's the one that shocked you? That's not the one that shocked me. It's these two that shocked me. Tops update Otani Gold Rookie 9-5. Freaking awesome card. I guess this is not that shocking, but I don't have one. I wish I had one. This one, I was like, what the heck is going on here? 19 Bowman Sterling Otani Autograph Retrospect, number to 15, and it got a 10. Look at that card. Jeez. That's the card of the sub, probably. Thing's awesome. Woo! Pete Alonzo, gold rookie from 19 tops, got a 9.5. And. Oh, there's still more. This is dead poop. Jordan 2020 Tops Celebration Decade 71 Design number 25 10 10. A Ben Baller Jordan rookie got a 10. And your Carlton Fisk 2022 Heritage Real One Red Ink Autograph to 73 9 5 of the 10 auto. Classic card, the red ink, the real ones. Maybe maybe Jules will pull some of these type of thingies in Heritage on Saturday. Yeah, they are. 22 Heritage Julio image variation got a nine. And one more card for dead poop. Jordan Walker. Another real one, red ink, 10-10. Yeah, the Julio 9. I knew you were going to be disappointed on that one. This has a big mark on the slab, but it's cool. That's a nice one. All in all, pretty good, Dead Poop. Um, all right, on to Dave, who had two cards from one of our Prism basketball breaks, both GG Jackson rookies, both 10s. Can't do much better. Can't do any better, actually. Well, gold label, but they don't exist. And time for an Isan Sala run. Stuff we've picked out that he mailed in. Starting with 55 Ernie Banks. Got a 2.5. 55 Ted Williams. Got a 1. It's got, it's, it's pretty beat up. Probably knew that this was going to happen. I hope. Willie Mays, 55 tops, got a three. Now, we did have two of these in this submission. Uh, I'm going to triple check. I double check, but I'm going to triple check. 
He's just a couple 56 Hank Aaron's white backs, but I matched up, I took pictures of them and matched up this, the centering on this side is way different on yours, Isan Sala. Again, I'll double check and triple check. But Omni had one from uh, JMBB, I think. Totally different centering, so I'm pretty sure this is yours. I'm, I'm like 90, 99% sure. But I'll check. Again. 58 Mantle got a 1.5. 61 Roger Maris, 3. <laughs> Dash Wilders. <clears throat> uh, 63 Tops Bombers Best got a 3. Here's a beautiful man and a beautiful card. Sandy Koufax, 64 tops. Got a five. That's decent. Seventy-six Roger Staubach, five point five. I know these aren't the greatest grades, but I figured you wanted all the vintage slabbed anyway, so why not? The classic 89 Upper Deck, Ken Griffey Jr. I was trying to explain to Nolan that this is the card. This, who knows where any of us would be without this card in the hobby? I don't know. Maybe I would have never got into cards. It's possible. <clears throat> oh, I love this. 98 Playoff Prestige, Peyton Manning, 9.5. That's awesome. Omni, wait till you see this freaking... Oh my god, this card is amazing. I can't believe this got a 10. I mean, I don't know what I was expecting, but... This is ridiculous. 97, 98, Topps Chrome Jordan, Shooting Stars, 10. I mean, I don't even know what it's worth. Maybe it's not even worth that much, but... A Chrome Jordan 10, insert. Seems like it's what people want in the world. The card's awesome. Plus, it's just fun, Shooting Stars. Seems awesome. I had to send... <laughs> a lot of these I sent pictures to Omni like, look what Isan Sauls has that I'm grading. And he was so jealous. Like this, 99 Ken Griffey Jr. Franchise Best Mach 3, number to 500. It's a die cut insert from Bowman's Best 99. Gah! I wasn't around. I mean, well, I was around, but I wasn't in collecting when these even existed. So I've never even seen these. They're so awesome. God. It's perfect. Thanks for letting me grade these, Isan Sol. It's fun to see them. I would never see them otherwise. Like this. I can't believe this got a 10. This, I think this is actually a pretty huge card. Ultimate Victory Kobe. Fly 2K. Number to 100. Some really cool stuff. Ugh. Another one. This Ichiro 2001 Bowman's Best. Number 2,999. Also a 10. <laughs> Keith Van Horn. There's another Ichiro. A tribute. Rookie update. Number to 100 gold. Got a 9. Yeah, that Kobe. I can't believe it. The Kobe and the Jordan. I want to hear something funny? <laughs> this submission, somehow this submission had two 2006 Topps Turkey Red Tom Brady's. Different cards, totally different cards. But what are the odds of that? This one got a 10 too. Um, There's still more. Yeah, only fans in the background. Matt Chapman, green rookie. Or <laughs> rookie. First Bowman autograph, 10 10. I remember that year. Team color match. Where is Red Raider? Is he working or something? He can't be here because I really wanted him to see this. Baker Mayfield, rookie zebra prism, 10.
in Red Raider's face. <clears throat> this is a really nice Tatis X Fractor rookie. Tops Chrome. And I got a 10. He's mining on. A Tatis definitive rookie autograph to 50. Got a 9 with a 10 auto. There's a sweet Charles Barkley in-flight signatures neon orange pulsar to 35, and it got a 10. No auto grade. <laughs> Torchies. Ooh, this is nice. Bobby Witt Jr., 2020 Bowman Sterling, 10-10 refractor autograph. Bobby Witt Jr. has been crushing the baseball, I've heard. That was a pretty hot run of grades. There's still more Isun Sol in the next box. Allow me to switch to box number two. Wedgie came off. And we're coming back we're coming in hot with the next box with another Baker Mayfield. This one from 2020 Select Color Wheel Gold 95. I was disappointed this got an 8, but Colin Morikawa Precious Metal Gems from Skybox Metal Universe number to 100 got an 8. I threw that in there for fun. He's on solid for the grading. Nice O'Neill Cruz orange Sapphire Rookie, 10. <clears throat> James Wood, purple first Bowman autograph, got a 10. No auto grade. Got to throw some soccer in the sub. Jota Manga from 22 Prism World Cup, 9-5. And more soccer. Alvarez, a blue rookie. 9-5. It's a nice one. <laughs> yeah. Look at your Christian Watson. Gold vinyl. Numbered 5 of 5. From Prism. Got a 9. Maybe centering's a little off. I don't know why they got a 9. Who knows why any card gets anything, really. Um, let's see. Still going. Still more. Oh, we got plenty more Easton Solace to go. A Julio Green, Allen and Ginter Chrome. Rookie. Got a 10. No one said Alien and Ginter. <laughs> he was like, what's Alien and Ginter? I was like, how has no one made that joke? I said that. Cunha riding low. Orange refractor to 25. Got a 10. The orange is just right here. It just kind of looks like the base parallel. But anyway, sweet Acuna. Ben Baller. Yeah. And a How You Lee uh, gold autograph from 23 Bowman, 10 10. Nice. Logan Sargent, orange checker, nine rookie. Is this from Breaks? No. Well, yes, it was. These are from Breaks. The Schumacher ten, purple checker. I remember these from Breaks. I guess it, you didn't. Sum, I submitted them for you, so it says mailed in or whatever. With CSB's premium service. Adley, Logo Fractor 9.5 rookie. Here comes some nice Volpies. A yellow rookie Volpe, 10 from our breaks. Remember this? Yeah. The purple rookie also got a 10. Were these all from the same break? All these Volpies came out in one break, I think. Well, both of them. Two of them. And then there's a base rookie, got a 10. Pretty sure those were all from one break. 
And then you have a couple Francisco Alvarez, the SP and the regular rookie, both got nine fives. Just a couple more for Eason Solid. Gunnar Henderson, 9.5. Base Logo Fractor rookie. Nice orange Spencer Steer from Update Sapphire, 10 with a 10. And one last card for Eason Solid from a break. Finally got some sort of Wemby, and it was a first steps, and it got a 10. So that pretty much makes up. Now you should be uh, even now, right? You're. You're paid, as they say in the biz right now. Isan Sala from all the uh, buying the Spurs and my breaks. That ought to zero Wemby luck whenever I do Spurs breaks. I try really hard, though. Um. Okay. Jay Flartner. <laughs> It's good that we can joke about that. I've, it's good that I'm comfortable enough with you to joke about that. Some people I couldn't, I wouldn't do that joke. Jay Flartner sent in, sent in a bunch of cool stuff like this, my favorite 15 Topps Chrome uh, Star Wars perspectives. Tano and Unduli, dual autograph, 10-10. No, we can't get gold labels. They don't exist anymore. Here's another... Tano Ashley Eckstein autograph from Masterwork 2017. Nine with a 10 auto. Zero gold labels ever. Road to France, 1819 Donruss, Kelly O'Hara, 9-5. Never seen that set or car. I don't know what that's from. Donruss soccer. Oh, yeah. Donruss soccer. I know. And then here comes a ton of Pokemon. Pikachu. That's just the stack. They didn't fall or anything. Pikachu uh, Black Star promo, 9-5. A Riolu illustration rare, 9. An Alakazam from 151. Spe special illustration rare, got a 10. A lot of 151, like this Blastoise got a 9. Love 151. It's the best. Ultra Rare Blastoise, 9.5. Still 151. The Bulbasaur Illustration Rare got a 10. I have a lot of these same cards myself. I love them. Oh, here's the other two uh, card 199 that were in a different submission. Again, Alex's was in a separate submission. These are both yours, though. A 10 and a 9.5 on your two 199 Charizards. G. Flartner. A Charizard Ultra Rare. Got a 9. Still 151. Charmander Illustration Rare. Got a 9. Charmeleon got a nine. Dragonair illustration rare got a ten. Still one fifty one. I think this is the biggest one. Well, no, I could be wrong. This one's a good one though. Erica's invitation got a ten. With a foil in her eye. It's cool. There was one I haven't seen that I was like, what is this? I'll wait. I'll ask you about it. I didn't look up the values of any of these. No time for that. But. Your Ivysaur Illustration Rare 9.5. Mew Hyper Rare 9.5. Card number 205. This is the other duplicate. Uh, verified this is yours because it was sent with the... Uh, regular stack and not the separate stack. Ultra Rare 193. We had two of these in the sub. I think, yeah. Got a 10. Nine Tails Ultra Rare. Still 151. Is it all 151? Oh, there was a couple that weren't. 
the Pikachu 173 got a 10. Squirtle, also a 10. It's card rules. Venusaur Special Illustration Rare, 10. I don't know, Verge. Venusaur Ultra Rare, 10. Yeah, almost all. Well, it's the best set, so that makes sense. War Turtle. Also a 10. Weird, all these are 10s now. They were 9s at first. Zapdos. Special Illustration Rare 10. You did get a lot of 10s. They're just all in the second half of the group for some reason. Here's a Zapdos Ultra Rare. 9.5. Oh, new stack. More Zapdos EX Collection. Ten. I don't know, I can't keep track either. Oh, Articuno got an 8.5. Galarian Articuno. Chilling Rain. Oh, that's all the Pokemon. That's your Pokemon. And that's the end of your sub. Some good stuff though, Jay Flartner. Thanks for sending them to us. I will look at 151s all day. Cranky Yankee. Couple of cards from Omni's Breaks. First, an Aaron Judge Gold from Bowman's Best, and it got a 10. Second, a Roderick Arias Red Lava to 5 got a 9. Cranky. Well, those are still. Yeah, those are Cranky Yankee. Two more Cranky Yankees, sorry from Sam's Breaks, whoever that is. A Chris Kamara Premier League Signatures for his Luton Town PC, 10 and a 10. He'll be happy with that. And your, I love this card, Tom Lockyer. An orange prism fla flashback, got a 10. I sent a picture to Omni and I said, I love this card when I sent it in, number to 25. The flashbacks are awesome. All right, it's time for JMBBB's Vintage Minute, or four minutes. Your Monty Irvin, 55 tops, got an authentic minimum size not met. Your 55 Warren Spawn got a four. Don't mind UCCF. He always cheers at minimum size, not met. I don't know why. He loves it. It's one of his favorite things. This is your, what I believe to be your Hank Aaron 55 tops white back. Again, I'm going to triple check. You got a five. The, the border is totally different on the bottom and the, and the side. And it's slanted. like the Anyway, it's they're really easy to tell the difference on. Al Kaline, 63 tops, got a six. This seems good. 63 tops, Brooks Robinson, seven. Basically, sixes and sevens and higher seem good for anything this old. Even fives, actually. Like this Ernie Banks, got a six, 63 tops. Seems like it has very good color. 63 tops, Frank, Frank Robinson got a five. Gil Hodges, 63 tops, 4.5. New York Mets, great, Gil Hodges. 63 tops, Richie Ashburn, six. This is a really nice 63 top Stan Musial, 6.5. Yeah, these are really good. Oh, that's on the card. 63 tops, Pride of the National League. Willie Mays, Stan Musial, 6. Yes, Gil Hodges is the most old looking guy. And a 1967 Willie Mays, 4.5. 
And this has been JMBBB's Vintage Minute. Good stuff. Killing Me Smalls mailed in a bunch of stuff. Like this Jameson Williams Origins Gold Ink autograph. Got a nine. No auto grade. Wasn't even 50? Wow. This card's awesome. Jameer Gibbs Micro Mosaic 9.5. Must be a SP insert. I never saw one. Killing Me Small sent in some uh, Topps Chrome Disney. Like this Asha Black Parallel. Black Kaleidoscope Refractor. 3 of 10. Got a 9. Ember Lumen. Number to 23, Blue Wave Refractor, 9.5. Top Prospect, Ernesto De La Cruz, Orange Wave Refractor, 25 of 25, got a 9. Your Joe Gardner Black Kaleidoscope Refractor, got a 9.5. 8.5 on the Iconic Moments. Uh, Kitty has to go. No, Kitty, why do you have to go? 5 of 10, 8.5. I don't know why these got lower grades, but Love Story Iconic Moments from Up. Got an 8, number to 23. Your Mickey Mouse Refractor got a 9. But your Mickey Mouse Pink got a 9.5. And your... Pete off the page, black and red, number 28, got a 9.5. Lots of cool Disney chrome for killing me smalls. Snow White Green Refractor to 99, got a 9.5. That's cool. And Monsters Inc. Dual Autograph, Sully and Mike, got a 10. They don't grade the autographs on these because they're, well, you know. So I think they just graded the card. Ten. Ten on that one's good. Let's see. Still more. Walking on air. Iconic moments to 23. Got a nine. Oh, Winnie the Pooh. Dark blue and light blue refractor. Got a nine. Number to 75. Oh, bother. Yeah. Yeah. Thanos sent in some Pokemon. And, uh, yeah, all Pokemon. A Ditto Holographic from V-Star Universe Japanese 10. Cool. Uh, Dialga, double rare Japanese V-Star got a 10. I don't know. Water Energy, super rare Japanese 10. Any 10s in this one? Oh, Jules pulled two. Oh, it's, they all say mailed in. Weird. Oh, you sent them back. I get it. Arceus V Star, Japanese triple rare Birch. That's more rare than a double rare. This is the one I don't know what this is worth, but it looks awesome. Oh, it's a promo, so probably, maybe not worth that much, but I've never seen this one. Charizard Ultra Premium. It's just a cool drawing. He's like resting. Reminds me of Wally. -E. And it got a 10. I really like that card. And then here's your 193 Mew. And it also got a 10. Uh, Switch Hyper Rare 9.5, 151. Couple more. Venusaur 9.5, double rare. Dragonair, got a 10. Japanese. I know what you're thinking. Sam, these are dupes. No, they're Japanese. Totally different. Thankfully. 
Double rare, Paldea Evolved, Pikachu. I think the odds of getting them, they're in the base set. They're not like a secret rare, but, but they're like... I opened a million boxes and didn't get a lot of those. Ice Rider, Calyrex, VMAX, 9-5. And one more for Thanos. Dark Patch, secret rare from Lost Origin. Got a 10. A lot of 10s in that box between everybody. All right, Mikey's up next, so if anyone has anything else to do, you're free to go. There's nothing exciting at all to be seen here. Just regular run-of-the-mill retail. <laughs> Damage, a bunch of twos and threes on modern cards. You know Mikey. You guys know Mikey stuff. Train, weird train tickets and Wedgie came off. <laughs> All right. Only four cards. Start off with a River Group, 1992 River Group Elvis collection from the moment nine. It's cool. No one said Elvis. They make Elvis cards. <laughs> I love this card. Manny Ramirez Currency Connections from 2003 Tops Gallery, and it got a 9.5. Dominican Republic 25 Centavo. What an awesome card. I bet UCCF would love it. This shows the coin, both sides of the coin. Perfect. That's your best card. Well, this one might be better. Otani Pink from 2020 Tops Chrome. Got a 10, Mikey. Really good. And, well, I guess that's it. There's I can't see any other cards in here. I know you said you had four cards, but I only saw three, Mikey. I must One must have gotten lost. Jinder, 2020 Tops Finest, Jinder Mahal, 9.5. Look at him. Uh, I've been looking forward to that all day, Mikey. I was like, how many cards do I have to go through before I could do this? <laughs> oh, God. The best. Anyway, I'm I don't have any interest in the rest of this. Someone else want to do this? <clears throat> <laughs> All right. Doc, it's finally your time, Doc. 1954 Ted Williams got a 3.5. A 1962 Lou Brock on the Cubs. You ever seen this card? I didn't even know. Got a four. Yeah, no, I don't have any Ted Williams theme song. I've never even seen that, Omni. Did you know Lou Brock was a rookie on the Cubs? What the heck is going on? I've been lied to my whole life. The uh, Cal Ripken Jr. 82 tops. Baltimore Orioles future stars got a six. <laughs> yeah. The 1990 Bowman Ken Griffey Jr. got an eight. This is awesome. It's Jeff Bagwell, 91 Leaf, Gold Rookie, 9.5. These seem like they'd be really hard to grade. Oh, you sent one in? I don't even remember it. Also love this, Mike Piazza, 92 Bowman. Got a 9.
More cards in Omni's face, like a 94 Flair, Roberto Alomar, hot numbers. Look at all the numbers going all over the place. Got a nine. I see 109, 12, 980, 9, 192, 12. Another one, Ryan Sandberg, hot numbers. Got an 8.5. We got numbers. Man, this is awesome. 95 Leaf Limited, Ken Griffey Jr. Gold, got a 9. And as promised, the other uh, 2006 Topps Turkey Red Tom Brady card in the sub. They're totally different, though. This is a checklist back red, got a 9. No only fans in the background. We have, this is, uh, this is still Doc, apparently. A Kirby Doc Young Guns. Oh, I get it. Kirby Doc for Doc. His favorite hockey player. Got a 10. And your Adam Fox Young Guns got a 10. That's just because Doc likes animals and his last name's Fox. Probably has a pet fox by now. This one tripped me up because I didn't even know what it was, but apparently it's for Chan. One Piece Japanese Rob Lucci Awakening of the New Era alternate art. They got a 10. Is this our first One Piece we've ever had in the sub? I think so. It's cool. Doc has Topps Chrome Disney now too, apparently. The Evil Queen Refractor got a 10. Where are these coming from? Hard to get tens on Topps Chrome Disney. And from our breaks. Remember when Doc hit this in the F1 break? Gold Lewis Hamilton. And it got a 10, Doc. We did it. Yeah, I remember. Oh, I pulled the Evil Queen. <clears throat> Some Pokemon now. Jesse and James from 19 Hidden Fates, Ultra Rare 10. Obsidian Flames, the Charizard Hyper Rare, 9.5. Also a Charizard promo, got a 10 EX Premium Collection. A couple of Zards. A 19 Cosmic Eclipse Pikachu Secret Rare, 9-5. And that was your last card, Doc. <laughs> I, got, I gotta get better at that. I forget what I lose track and then I don't do the proper closing. Hopefully you're happy with that, Doc. I don't know what you're expecting on the vintage stuff. I'll have to talk about it later. All right, Nate from an Omni break subbed this Ovechkin. OPG Platinum Retro Blue Tracks and Pills Face 10. Yeah, the, uh, the end. Number to 199. It's a cool card. Uh, Noe from, also from an Omni break, a Royal Blue Ellie from the Value Box breaks Omni did. 9.5. Mookie Monster from our five-star breaks from my five-star breaks first a joey Votto purple autograph got a nine these are tough nines is actually not bad for five star but actually the will benson got a nine five the rookie so they have gotten better at cutting these five-star cards they used to be terrible with the chipping and stuff nine nine five is not not bad really retired bowman scout Oh, out of order. I don't know if Retired Bowman Scout's going to be upset about this one or if he knew, but this Nolan Ryan 2001 reprint Rookie Stars got a 7. Don't know why. With a 10 auto. Tiger Woods 2001 Upper Deck, 9.5. Max Scherzer, number to 21 from 2008 Upper Deck Gaudi, got a 9. Mini. 
Mini Scherzer. Man, I love this card. This reminds me of when I first got back into the hobby, but I didn't even know there were red exclusive retail ones. I had a bunch of the regular one. The Harper uh, BCE one. I remember seeing this card everywhere and loving it when I first got back into cards. Retail exclusive red 9.5. It's awesome. Oh. Here's a big one. Mark McGuire, 2018 Tops High Tech. Man, I missed the high tech days. Number to 75, Portrait Tech, Portrait tech Auto. 9.5 of the 10. Tripping over my tech words. That's awesome. Here is a sweet Otani. Road to opening day bonus. Tops now 2019. When you hit for the cycle, and it got a 10. It's awesome. Yeah, Darth Maud. Your Colton Wong tops fire Inferno one of one in in uh, Birch's face. Birch loves tops fire. He loves one of ones and Infernos specifically. And tens, so that's why it's in his face. More Colton Wong one of ones, a super fractor from 2020 Heritage, a chrome, 9.5. Sorry, just one more Colton Wong, I promise. This is the last one. A one of one tops now gold from 2020. And it got a 10. Solid Wong grades. This card confused me. I didn't know what this was. 21 tops all star rookie cup Jeter, orange holofractor to 25. It's like a 70th anniversary reprint tops. I don't know what it is. Anyway, it got a 10. Uh, Key Brian Hayes, 9-5-10 on finest uh, flashbacks gold autograph. It's awesome. In Red Raiders' face, an Evan Carter tops pro debut green. 9-5 of the 10. Oh, online only. No wonder. And a Newt Bar all-star game exclusive. Rookie got a 10. And then Ryan tried to get cute. And sub this UK edition Kershaw Red 5 of 5 in my face. 9 5. Cool card. Although the red with Dodger Blue is weird. It's like blue with Cardinals Red. Did I miss another card of yours? Hold on. Oh, I missed one because I thought this was mine. Here's your other Kershaw. 2008 Tops Update. Also in my face. I have one of these. I thought I must have submitted it, so I took it out. And I was like, wait a minute. That's not mine. Cade Klubnik. Masterpieces 1010 from Bowman's Best, number to 75. And a few more. Moana. Moana Purple 9.5. Lots of Topps Chrome Disney in this sub. Nemo Dark Blue Light Blue Refractor to 75 got a 9.5. And some MLS Soccer. Caden Glover. This is St. Louis, you know. St. Louis City cards. Aqua 10. Oh, this is a new row. What time is it? Oh, okay. Miguel Perez to 125 also got a 10. And the other Miguel Perez, number to 175, also a 10. So those grade well. Caitlin Clark, a sapphire from 23-24, got a 10. These are still retired Bowman Scout. One more retired, or no, two more retired Bowman Scout. First, no one loved this card. Caitlin Clark breaking the record. Tops now, 10. It's really cool. And now your last card, retired Bowman Scout. Encarnacion Strand, 
gold foil ten. Sparkle Muffin had a couple or three cards he sent in, some tops chrome. Oh no, they're from my breaks. Direct from the breaks right to the sub. Like, remember this? Once upon a time, Cinderella got a 10. That seems massive. Rare insert. Not super rare, secret rare, double rare, triple rare. I don't know how rare, but just rare. And a gold Merlin, gold wave. Got a 10. 25 of 50. Finally for Sparkle Muffin, a beast to 75. Got a 9.5. RT got into the fun with some uh, cards from breaks like this Magnuson Celebration Variation. I got a 9 from our F1 breaks. Also from our F1 breaks, Max Verstappen, gold checker flag refractor from Italy. Number to 50, 95. Yeah, they might be carries. And from our Prism Soccer, which I have no memory of breaking, a Mitoma. Purple Mojo to 25, got a 9.5. All right, good job, Darth. Nice stuff. Back to work. Okay, we'll skip all mine. We'll go to Omnis. No. What? Whose card is this? Oops, I missed one. What is this? Oh, this is mine. <laughs> we'll come back to that. That was a beef card. I was like, that's not my card. Omni bought it for beef, I think. Uh, okay, Omnis. First up, a friggin' bird. Alan and Ginter, Birds of America. Osprey. From 1890. That card's amazing. Got a four. Oh, Sparkle Muffin's carry. Oh, I don't know. A 1952-53 Parker's Gay Stewart. Got a 2.5. Griffey inserts... Extreme player winner, Silver. 1996 Stadium Club. Got a nine. A Upper Deck Hot Commodities die cut, Griffey. Got an 8.5 from 1996. You knew what? <laughs> I love this. Bleacher Reachers. 97 tops. Season's best. Got an 8.5. Mount Matumbo Best Techniques Atomic Refractor 10 from 97.98 Best. Best Techniques. And a Power Brokers Frank Thomas Refractor 1999 Tops 9.5. The little like things on the sides. Those are cool. Yeah, there's like no relic. There's only one relic for Omni this time. And it's probably the best thing in his, in his sub. Matumbo Season's Best Refractor got a 9. Postman. And this Mad Game Vince Carter Refractor got an 8. <laughs> it's so good. Still looks good. Like this could be in a Topps Chrome set today and it would look like a 2024 card. I think this one. Not all of them, but this one. You want relics? Here's a relic. And it's a 10. Fairway Fabrics, Tiger Woods. Perfect, perfect relic card. 2003 Upper Deck. And still Omni. A Julio Platinum Anniversary Prism Refractor. Got a 9. Rookie. And a Caitlin Clark Bowman Chrome U Base. Chrome, 9.5. One more for Omni. I think you said this is Youpers. Maybe he got in a break or something. Shellacked Volpe. 10-10. 
So that worked out. Yeah, youper. All right. UCCF always has to wait till the very end every time. From our breaks, a Max Anderson Aqua Lunar Crater got a nine. And here's a better Max. Max Clark, 9510 on your glass autograph to 99. That's solid. Your Max Clark mood ring got a 10. Mikey C on the Cubs to 125. Aqua Wave Refractor from 23 Draft got a 9.5. A lot of the slabs have little marks on them. I don't know how to fix that. Your five star Jose Ramirez autograph, 9.5. On the card, no auto grade. Silver signatures to 30. Bianca Belair Elite Deck Teal to 25 got a 9. These are all from our breaks. This is a nice Braun Breaker Pen Pals 1010 from the very same break. I think it was the very same break. Roman Reigns with both those belts. He'll never lose them. Star status orange to 49 from Elite. Got a 10. Apparently the Elite decks get nines because... Triple H, red elite deck, got a nine. And then a couple flawless. Alan Trammell to 15, shadow signatures. SGC determined it was flawed and got an eight. And then Cade Horton from flawless. That got a nine five with a 10 auto. No, they don't. Six of 20 patch auto. One more UCCF. It's pretty good. Riley Green, 9-5 on your five-star signatures. Number to 20, rookie autograph. That's solid. And finally, wireless from an Omni break. OPG Platinum Hockey, Galvanized Rainbow Autograph, Connor McDavid. It got an 8.5 with a 10 auto. I don't know why, obviously. Interesting they gave that a 10 auto. There's a little streak right there. Galvanized. That's all your guys' stuff. I'll show mine. I have some fun stuff. Have this card forever. 15 tech Clayton Kershaw red orbit diffractor to five and it got a 10. I can't believe it. It's been sitting in a box for 10 years. I had some old sketches from Star Wars. I just wanted to get them slabbed. Uh, like this Boba Fett, Jeremy Bullock signed, Cal Sparrow. Pretty cool. Uh, Anthony Daniels, Star Wars Illustrated. They're all from 2015 Star Wars Illustrated. C3PO. And then my favorite Yoda sketch. Really cool. 
I love that sketch. But just so you guys know, they wouldn't, I don't know why they didn't, they won't slab this Boba Fett one I have. Maybe because it's not signed or I don't really know. This one's not signed though. Like why, why did they grade the one on the right but not the one on the left? They're exactly the same. I don't really know. Um, <laughs> I found this Ronda Rousey. I, good thing I sold this one at the peak. 2015 knockout belt plate auto. Got a nine. Just wanted to have it slabbed. It's pretty cool. I don't know. I have no memory of even getting this card. Uh, and then, uh, Museum Refractor from 17 Chrome UFC. Got a 10. Conor McGregor. Now it's time for some Mellas. Let me see if I have any. Oh, <laughs> I have some. Look at this one. I got. I pulled this out of Heritage in 2019. I like opened one box and got a Bud Selig. <laughs> got a 10-10. Eh. I don't really love Bud Selig, but I thought it was cool. Uh, oh yeah, my Kelnick Orange, again, I, I always sell at the right time. Kelnick Orange, rookie to 25. I don't know, he's on the Braves now. Maybe he'll win a World Series game with the walk-off or something. I'll never sell it. Well, I guess it's just down to the Mellas. Man. The sweet select tie dye melon nine five. Uh, man, I don't know where to start. Well, here's a seventeen undisputed gold nine five rookie. Wow, he's eleven for twenty two. I love this card. Uh, well, I'll do my rainbow. So I decided to try to do this rainbow. I decided my favorite Carmella card is sitting in a chair. It's the most anti-wrestling card, just relaxing in a high chair, like a stool chair for 2020 finest. So the red got a 10, black to 25, 10. Hmm. Oh, I went out of order. Gold, gold to 10 got a 9.5. Orange got a ten. Then I have the blue and the red, nine, five, and a ten. I have the super fractor somewhere in the other room. Didn't I I think I graded the super fractor. And then I just did some old one of ones that I just wanted protected. They're not great grades, but seventeen women's division one of one. I miss old Mella. Old days Mella. I love this card. I don't care that it got an eight. One of my favorite Mella cards. The Heritage. I love 18 Heritage. It's just fun. The 89 design or whatever. Road to WrestleMania autograph one of one. I'm showing these on the stream in case someone ever comes across them and wants to make me a ridiculous offer. And then my last two favorite ones. I love this one. Foil Fractor 1 of 1 from 21 Heritage. Foil Fractors are cool. It's like the only Foil Fractor I have, I think. And... 21 Finest Super Fractor 1 of 1 autogra autograph. Got a 10. Pretty happy with that. That was my sub. There's a couple cards for beef that I'm not going to show. Assuming we ever do beef again, I want to. I like to have some cards and beef that you guys, or all the cards I want you guys to not 